Yes, you expected it 20 hours before, but the results are in now. Well, kind of. You see, we had in the last election a lot a lot of problems with postal voting. Well, we have this year even more postal voting, about 20% who are too lazy to go to the voting office and guarantee the mandatory process of voting and gave those who doubt the democratic standards are met a lot of additional ammunition. Well done. Since a lot of these votes are not counted yet, there are some ifs in this presentation. However, most of what we see today after the election is not so new. The socialists here in red lost, which is not very surprising to be true. The big winner is Sebastian Kurz with his ÖVP here in Turkey's instead of the classical black. I made a whole video about him and what I think he is. Check the cards in in the upper right corner whenever I say something like that. You see, I don't think he's a reformer. I think he is the same old party trick we saw all over Europe in the last years. He's the candidate of the establishment but sold as some kind of revolutionary who will reform his old party, make it hip and young and will care for the citizen. In support to this theory, the media pretty much dumped the socialist candidate in favor in the last week and Kurz was sold as some kind of messiahs and only logical alternative, was also spiced with some of this right-wingy flavor. Well, that tactic worked. He won the election clearly and it is pretty much sure that he will be councillor as I predicted. The populist right wing with the FPÖ here in blue won also, but not as much as some expected. By the way, they used the word social justice in their posters, so yeah, that's right wing over here. This might be connected to the leadership. All about 5% voted because of HC Strache, 95% voted despite him. Because he is this kind of person that joins every party, is popular and nobody knows exactly why. Still, they won so this guy is here to stay and will hold the party back, for better or worse. If they would have put Hofer on top, a guy that resonated with about 50% of the voters, it might look differently, but again, for better or worse. The big news is that the Greens are pretty much out of the parliament. You see, you have to reach 4% and not 3.9. Except there is some kind of miracle happening. They are out. But there was a schisma. The Greens, who are pretty much right now the feministic communistic party, did throw out all males and moderates and one of them, Peter Pilz, formed his own party. To be clear here, I made a video about this guy too, although I guess it was a little bit too positive. He is far left after all, but he's an Islam skeptic. So we have still a green movement, which is good. It's smaller than before, and it's now Islam critic. If the Greens make it, for some weird reason, this new Green Party will take over the environmentalist agenda and the old Greens will be pushed even further in the left fringe. So we still have a left-leaning Green Party, but again it's anti-Islamistic now in nature. The Neo is a party that could be seen as libertarian if they would not have so much love for the European Union are also in but still don't matter and some of the micro parties such as the anti-european union party and the party for direct democracy are still irrelevant playing with the numbers the socialists and conservatives would be able to form a government conservatives and the re and the right wing too. And based on mathematics and nothing else, socialists and right wings could form a government too, which would not be the first time, but given the circumstances right now, it's not gonna happen. So we will see who sells their stuff cheapest to the conservatives. I would say it's about two thirds for conservative right wing and one third for an ongoing of the socialist conservative government. But if they do that, Kurz will lose all of his credibility in an instant. For me personal, these results are bittersweet and I can live with them, but a lot of my contacts, right and left, can't 
and won't. And this is a problem and the whole postal voting makes conspiracies go wild. So if you are Austrian, please don't do it. Please stop with this lazy bullshit, go down the street, vote the way it was intended and that is way safer in any way. However, these were my 50 cents to the elections. Share your thoughts and have a wonderful day.